<laughs> oh, that's a great name. Blood killer macho versus quite likely a catch. Both great names there. Talking about what their teams do best. Oh god, he's got a mighty blow, but he's going to be the kill team here. Mighty blow. Oh god, 110 TV. Oh. Right, we'll get an extra reroll. That's all right. Um, three rerolls versus elves. He's got three, four dodge players. An edge five and a mighty blow. Ouch. Four and four though. So maybe he's not the best coach on earth. I think this is all right. Three, three, three apples is all right. Three apples, three rerolls because you know I'm can turn over and stuff, can't I? Bum cancer. No idea. <laughs> Got his ass amputated. No, I didn't. I didn't really see them. No, I'm honestly bad news, Brown. I've heard of them. I've heard of Bad News Brown, but I never saw him or anything, and never heard of Bad News Allen. But Bad News Barrett was amazing. I can't, I can't believe anybody was better than Bad News Barrett. No, I'm thinking he's not the best in the world. <laughs> All right, <laughs> he's maybe not the best in the world to go four one four. I mean, you know, like that's average, isn't it? I mean, four one four is average, slightly above average. I think. I think the average is slightly below fifty percent. It's either slightly below 50% or slightly above 50%, one of the two. So he's either slightly above or slightly below average record. Plus it's with high elves. So he might actually be slightly above average. Um, he's a 70% coach. Is he? Isn't that? Is there a space? Why didn't that work? I don't know. I had to be, be, I don't know, that's all he's played. But yeah, I mean, high elves aren't very good. So it's certainly, he could be better than average and still have a lose, and still have a 50-50 average, 50-50 record. But it's quite good level ups, isn't it? Mighty Blow, Dodge Edge 5, Dodge Wrestle, Dodge Dodge Kick. He's, he's got good level ups. Um, which is interesting. Four concessions, oh well. Good decision to uh good decision to kick versus then him, hopefully. Right, so the minnow's gonna blitz actually. Good decision to receive, sorry. Good decision to receive versus him, maybe. Bit of defend against uh one, two, three, four, five. Defend against the uh Blutz a little bit. Weird that it needed to be capitalised, isn't it? Good killer macho gets another reroll. Alright. So block with block. Safe moves first. Blitz with Minnow. Also a safe move. <laughs> Fucking smash. Yeah, one player in the backfield. Blitz with a fucking minnow. That's how we play this game, lads, boys. Fucking lads. Let's fucking have it. Um. <laughs> hey, he can go back now. Go forward. Whatever happens if I get a push, I don't get an extra block. So probably better to block with him because then it's a three into more. 
Oh. I can move all this now that I've got four. Oh, I can push him into there as well, can't I? Push him into the uh, minnow, he's alright. I'd have to try the pickup from there. Fair-ish, I'm down 110 TV, Jahania. So not that fair. Not that fair. Not that fair. Wow, Pedro, what, what did you want me to do? <laughs> a bit harsh. A bit harsh. I hit somebody with a minnow, what more do you want? Oh, it's Tony. Glorious. Good morning, Jimmy. Is this how it's going to be? Just claw POMB for the rest of your life, only to be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe Tony, maybe this is how it's going to be. <laughs> Claw P-O-M-B, yep, and be disappointed. That's probably, that's probably good, good odds. Good odds. Right. Just punch with him. Boo! Look at that blitzing with block. Outrageous. Ooh. Can get into there. That's pretty good. One tackle zone on the board, I don't think it's gonna make a real big difference. So probably best just to go for straight for it. Phew. L'équipe forme une cage autour du ballon. Pas bête comme tactique. Disappointing CPOMB. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tony, for staying fantastic. By the way, for 27 months in a row. Unbelievable. Thank you very much. And uh, have, you seen, have you seen the picture I did, by the way, Tony? Um, I took that picture you gave us and uh, I, I took the character in that and had him stood up um, holding a meat cleaver. Um, I haven't finished him yet, but I thought it was a... It was good, I thought. I was quite happy with it. Happiness. Hey, Tony. It's, I'm about to put it in Discord right now. It's not, it's it's far from finished, but you know, the basics of it is there. There you go. 
go. It's in discard now. He's based the ball. Flip me, guys. There's no defense to a vicious ball basing. Probably jugs, to be honest, NB. But piling on's fucking tempting, isn't it? <laughs> it might be. It might be piling on. Fuck it. <laughs> He's the old herp derp base 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 every turn kind of elf, isn't he? Which is pretty annoying if you don't fucking knock them over and they outbash you. Which is probably what's going to fucking happen. Yeah, exactly, Rex Longbone. I mean, that's the thing. It's It's not... The whole base and the ball being bad thing basically came as a as a response to all of these uh, all of these things, all of these guides on the internet telling you herp, derp, base, that basing base, the ball is good. Um, on the right. burp, burp, burp. It's it's not like it's not really. Always good. It's not like it's never good, but it's just not always good, is it? Let's him. Um, it's only two free players. He could stand up, he could block. But then there's this player there. I guess this is this is what's gonna have to be. It's gonna have to be good enough, isn't it? So put this guy here. Put the ball there. Two there. So blitz for them. To put warriors, warriors in the ways. Minnow block. Oh, got him! <laughs> Get the fuck out! <laughs> Yet another cas for the minnow. <laughs> Glorious minnow. Yes, indeed. Um, indeed, yes. Indeed, careful. Exactly. Often it's good. I mean, not even sometimes. Often it's good. But it's... The problem is with people who've watched a guide, you know, and that's all they do all the time. And they do it stupidly. Like, sometimes it's stupid to, to base the ball, isn't it? So... Yeah, but even you know, so that's it. That, that that's the thing. It's the people who just do it because they've read a they've read a guide that that's how you stop a cage, and and it just doesn't work a lot of the time. And there's obviously sometimes it's sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's really good, but um, often it isn't. Um, just actually having the rules would be good, sneaker. But I, I mean, everyone will move. Everyone will move, even if they say they're not going to move, they're going to move. So, you know, it just needs the just needs the rules. But I mean, it'll I'll just move. Everyone everyone will move from Blood Bowl three to two. Everyone will move from Blood Bowl one to two. Everyone will move from two to three. It's guaranteed. But hopefully, hopefully Blood Bowl three has proper rules, and not just. You know, here's a fucking, here's a fucking bank rule for no reason. You know. God, this game's taking a long fucking time. He's spending a lot of time just to hurt dirt base, base, base. Flip me. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious costume. You might see the animation here as well. He's got high elves, isn't he? You would think it would be Chaos that had the animation, but oh no. 
It's, what a what a crazy reroll there. He's only got he only had two rerolls and he used a reroll on that kind of irrelevant one dice block. And he wants to make sure I punch him with my Minotaur. Okay, thank you very much. I w I will punch you with my Minotaur. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. That's very kind of you. Could block him and serve him, but no, I think we want to move the ball up here, turn four. Flip me. Safe moves first, eh? Le ballon est en sécurité. À l'autre équipe de prouver le contraire. Have to blitz with him so that the minnow can uh, fucking run away. Didn't kill him though, did it? Didn't kill him. What an absolute Dyson. Well, Clopom's already been sold, hasn't it, Kefu? But it's not. That's not even. Piling on's removed in Blood Bowl 2016, isn't it? So as long as they stick with that. Do the right thing and keep it removed, then that's good. Yeah, well, they can't use redrafting, can they? Because, um, yeah, but it's removed from the basic rules. Like, there's a lot of old stupid. There's a lot of stupid optional rules, isn't there? So it is removed from the basic rules. Like it's as optional as having stupid fucking balls, isn't it? And for sure the stupid fucking balls aren't going to be Blood Bowl 3. I mean, you can't have the redrafting in box, can you? But you could have the redrafting in CCL. So CCL would be perfect for the redrafting. It'd be really good. It'd be really good to have the redrafting so you could actually just keep your team from CCL to CCL and redraft it. That would be incredible. Really incredible. And it'd be good for Rebel and everything as well because it would... It would stop the whole 2k Nurgle team sitting there, or, or 3k in the new Blood Bowl 2016 rules. So, uh, to, to me, Sneaker, that's the main reason to want the people, that's the main reason to move over, right? The piling on removal and the new MVP rules, that they're, they are both fantastic, they are both fantastic um, rules changes. Fantastic rules changes. Um, yeah, redraft, redrafting is. Uh, ah, maybe won't re maybe won't reroll this time. Now he's down to one. <laughs> Shit head. Um, <laughs> he could block first. What do we have here? He's got to block there. Oh, he's got to block here, hasn't he? First. Just a push. He could blitz. I really want him to block so he can move up. Then I guess he can just move up anyway without having to do it. So who's going to blitz? Oops. Who's going to blitz? Maybe this... Oh, this guy's going to have to keep the cage corner. He could blitz and stand there so he can block. Alright, fuck it. Minnow. 
suffit pas toujours. Okay, he's he's basing people, so he doesn't really want to blitz. This is nice, isn't it, to get in between those two in the cage? Ah, will you use your wrestle or not? Don't want to get punched by mighty blow, so we'll just fucking run away with a brave chaos warrior. <laughs> Can only win when the opponent has five players, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eight foot head eight foot odo <laughs> Yeah, exactly, careful. Exactly. Like it's so obvious, isn't it? That like it's brilliant. And yeah, redrafting CCL would be really good. Zons do need do need looking at yeah, of course. He is down to ten minutes for the rest of the match now, isn't he? So that's good. I could foul at some point. But it's just hard because you've got to protect the ball, haven't you? Especially when he's just fucking herb dirt base base basing all the time. Can only one day the uh, minnow here, can't he? So that's good. Thanks, Tap Comet. <laughs> that's nice. Good for you. <laughs> Yeah, all of them. It's just brilliant. It's just brilliant, you know? And it's like... I don't know... I really don't understand why anybody... Anybody would, would complain about the 2016 MVP rules. They're just amazing. They're just completely amazing. The 2016 MVP rules. Did not blitz with his mighty blow. Good. That could have been a mighty blow knockdown, but instead it's a push. <laughs> he failed his dodge. Ha <laughs> dickhead. Oh, now we can get forward. Right forward. Right forward. Look at that block getting a knockdown there. Glorious, isn't it? Does he dodge away to try and foul? Maybe. Because this is actually five dodger I could foul. It'd be pretty good. Uh oh, this is getting risky for the minnow now. Let's push the mighty blow guy away. I could have freed up the the beast man there and that would have been really good to be fair get fucked you little cunt <laughs> fuck off but I won't re-roll the, the dodge but I will re-roll the GFI Yeah, but bash teams have had piling on removed, Jehenia. <laughs> so bash teams are crippled. Bash teams have been completely and utterly crippled. So uh, I made a, I made a Kaz, actually. Come on, Mac. Made a Kaz. Uh, Minnow. But yeah, it seems like there's only been the one AV break. Maybe give the Blitzers weeping blades. Yeah, but 
Other people don't, do they? You know, at the end of the day, what does people what do people complain about realistically, Sneaker? What do people what do you see people complaining about? It's not oh no, an elf guy rolled some two pluses and I lost. It's a ah, someone turned sixteen found me and killed my best witch elf. Oh, ah, someone had a claw pom team and killed all my players. He's a griefer. Oh, he's even lost some games. Why is he even playing? He's griefing me. You know? That's what people fucking cry about all the time. They don't cry about, oh no, Wood Elves got a fucking touchdown. They don't give a fuck. They just don't want all of their precious pixels to die. Burp, <laughs> burp, base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. Yeah, exactly. So that's why I just remove piling on and that's it. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't whine about it, do you, Jahin? And you just get on with it. That's the... Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, like, in, in kind of complaints kind of department, you know? What people complain about is their precious pixels dying. Precious, 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 precious pixels. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there's a block here and there's a there's a guy there. <laughs> Could three dice him with a ball carrier. That would be alright. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm, I'm all, I'm all. Four, five, six, and then yeah, okay. This isn't bad, is it? <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, you got the pal. And an AV break! Incredible. They're both the same. Guess this one's a better place to follow up. It does not hit Norse. Norse win more in uh, in Blood Bowl 2016 than they did in CRP. So there you go. Yeah, people do love complaining. That's true. Yeah, don't don't act like Norse are less hated, please. Please, not in this stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Norse. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Norse. <laughs> yeah, that's true, see, subs, that's true. You, you, I mean, you're not going to please all the people all the time, are you? You know? That's it. You can't please everybody. That's what, that's what... That's what fucking I think so crazy about this whole rebel four minute turns thing, you know, which is, you know, um, <laughs> the, the people who support four minute turns just seem completely unable to grasp that it's not just a positive. Like, it seems crazy to me that they just can't understand, they, they seem seemingly can't understand that it's not just better, you know. Whereas the people who, who want three minutes or even two minutes can at least understand that if you do that, then some people aren't going to be happy. And, you know, they understand that it's not all roses, three minute turns. There's, there's pros and cons. But for some reason, the people who want four minutes can only see the pros from their side and none of the cons from anybody else's side. 
could blitz him with block and he doesn't really achieve anything so just a 2d three assists there one two three so I could 3d him but it doesn't achieve anything does it so I might as well just 2d him with him to maybe get X SPP on him. Right, so it's just a tuddy with no dice rolls. So might as well 2D him with block. Four, five, six, seven, but except there's a defensive assist, so I don't want to do two Ds. Without block. Exactly, Sneaker, yeah. It's not completely untrue, Rama said. Not, not once have they, like... I, I can give you a million quotes from people saying stuff like fucking like all none of them give any traction to the fact that like there's another I said there's going to be a trade I, I remember right saying there's going to be a trade-off you can't you can't please everybody there has to be a trade-off and someone says there already is a trade-off and it's four minute turns it's like fuck off they just can't see it none of the people who've argued for it can see the fucking difference so there you go Maybe there's people who prefer it who haven't said anything, but the people who've said things have been completely unable to uh, see the other side. And all of the three minute people, well not all of the three minutes, but a lot of the three minute people have been able to see the other side. So there you go, that's all I've got to say about that. Not all of them, of course. Not all of the three-minute turns I've seen the other side. But um, that's the only side that I've seen anybody say. You know, someone's got to be unhappy, right? Someone has to be unhappy. That's just the nature of it. It's not like four minutes is just better. Four minutes is going to be better for some and worse for others, isn't it? That's like, if you don't think that, then you're just fucking stupid. But <laughs> a lot of them must be fucking stupid. Because they're just like, well, I want I want four minutes. So that's just better then, isn't it? I was trying to track down a suspicious $5 monthly charge and realized it was some sort of recurring payment plan to Twitch, and I thought I was using Twitch Prime on you. Jimmy, I'm your most oblivious fan. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fluffy Burrito, for being an oblivious fan. Thank you very, very much for staying fantastic. For a beaver pregnant, two beaver pregnancies over different, different time periods. So there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Absolutely glorious. <laughs> yes, no, Amdo, the downside. See, there you go, and Amdo said, what's the downside? Because there's another person on the other side of the game, right? And they've just got to sit there and wait and watch you think. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Yeah, and and like and look at the end of the day, I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a massive deal about complaining about the four minute turns because at the end of the day, when you join Rebel, it's four minute turns, right? So if if you join a four minute r turn league and then you say rah rah rah, this is four minute turns is stupid. So I'm not like I'm not I'm not having a massive go about the four minute turns or anything, you know. Whereas um, whereas if it was like CCL four minute turns, you know, then I would really be campaigning to change it. I would really be trying to canvas public opinion if uh, if CCL was four minute turns, but with Rebel I signed up to I signed up to four minute turns, so I'm not it's you know it's not the end of the world for me. And that's it, you know. I, I would just like a fucking poll so that people would know. So that people would fucking know if 
you know, if there's a hundred people, if there's five hundred people that don't care, and there's a hundred people who want four minutes, and there's five people who want three minutes, then you can say, oh, let's have four minutes then. But if there's um, if there's if there's a hundred people who desperately want three minutes, and there's you know a hundred that don't care, and there's you know, there's only 20 who want four minutes, then make it three minutes, you know, whatever, whatever. At least fucking have something, you know, rather than just some people want four, so we'll have, we'll have four is more inclusive. That's just completely untrue. It's completely untrue, and that's like the official line, is four minutes is more inclusive. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. That's just completely false. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sneaker, yeah. yeah, and the extra 15 second chunks, that's killer. I would have no problem with uh, 4 minute turns if it wasn't for the extra 15 second chunks. But a 4 minute turn can take fucking 6 minutes and stuff, can't it? 1 minute turns is, is, is too little, you know, a lot. 1 minute turns can be horrific. And you basically cannot think at all sometimes in 1 minute turns. So I wouldn't be a fan of 1 minute turns. Um. I think I think two minutes are fine, but I understand obviously in Rebel you've got a lot of people who that's all they play, and they're not very good, <laughs> and and they want the time, so you know they, they probably couldn't handle three two minutes, and they signed up for four, so that's very unfair to give them two minutes if they don't want it and stuff. So I I could understand that that could really alienate a lot of the player base in Rebel, so I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even advocate for three minutes in Rebel, in two minutes in Rebel, but I think three minutes is a is a good is a good balance between enough time and uh, for tricky turns and not a nightmare if somebody's taken forever. So put the minnow over there so he goes this way, but then there's more block over this side. Well, both block over this side, so either it goes the block side or the claw side. I think that's all right. If the survey hasn't been done, do you know it isn't the preferred time? No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. You could have, you could pull, you could pull 500 people around the set, and 400 of them could really, really desperately want four-minute turns. In which case, good. <laughs> you know, then good, then it's right. But just because it started off as four minutes doesn't make it always right forever. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it is false. It is false that four minutes is not automatically more inclusive than three. That is false. That is absolutely wrong. You can't say that. That's like saying God exists. Prove it then. <laughs> you know? Four minutes is not necessarily more inclusive. It's not necessarily more inclusive. No, it's absolutely 100% unequivocally not. It's false, of course it's false. Of course it's false. It's like me saying two minutes is more inclusive. It's just as false. It's just a false, stupid thing to say. <laughs> it's completely false. Idiotic is what it is. Me saying two minutes is, more is the most inclusive or one minute is the most inclusive carries just as much weight as saying four minutes because some people want four minutes. It's false, it's false, yes, it's false, it's completely false, Ramazet. That's the definition of false. <laughs> it's the definition of false. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Elsa. That's the logic that they're using. The logic that they're using by saying that it's more, more inclusive is completely flawed, and that's why it's false. That is why it's false, exactly. Because some people. Because some people want longer, that doesn't make it more inclusive to cater for those some people, no matter how many they are. And that's the logic that those people are using where they say, four minutes is more inclusive. <laughs> yeah. True, Pedro. I mean, now I am going a bit too far on it, but that, that <laughs> idiotic diplomat, that's a good name. Um, but that just, that particularly offended me, that, because... Um, Exactly, okay, no, exactly. But that just, that just particularly offended me, that, how, how wrong it is. 
<laughs> it offended me how wrong that was. But, um... <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, rather said. Um, maybe there's a language gap. Uh, you know, maybe there's, a, maybe there's something lost in translation. But, um... No. No, it's idiotic. It's idiotic false. And uh, let's just drop it, okay? Let's just drop it for now. Okay. Yeah, let's just drop it now. <laughs> that would be the ideal WR Spenny, yeah. Right, who do we blitz? He's unprotected. And then we can get a two and a two. Could put a player in there to make the first one a three. And then another player in there. Yeah, this is all right. Third dice is a charm. Yeah, there's loads of options that aren't going to happen because it requires coding. Probably should have put the beastman in there, shouldn't I? Just base. Up to base, base, base. C'est le moment de vérité. Bien vu, ça. Tout est dans l'intimidation. C'était une de mes spécialités pour jouer encore. No, I'll take that. Hey, get the fuck out. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Two minute. Yeah, Jeff, anyway. Yeah, that that would be the best to have. What I think would be good would be to have a six-minute time bank. Right, first of all, get rid of the 15 seconds. First of all, get rid of the 15-second chunks. Which, so, you know, again, this is fantasy land where programming can occur, yeah? Then, um, so get rid of the 15-second chunks on your turn, obviously. Um, and then just have, like, two minutes, two-minute or three-minute turns, either one. And then have the six minute disconnection timer is also a time bank, which can give you an extra one or two minutes, depending on whether it's two or three minutes standard, um, for difficult turns. So there you go. Or a chess clock, but then you'd st you still you still need the limit per turn, don't you? You still need the four minute limit per turn, because that's the rules of Blood Bowl. Right? Tabletop Blood Bowl always has been. Four minutes has been the absolute max amount of time to take your turn. Now, so... For that reason, I'd be okay with four minutes, except these 15-second turns make it six or seven minutes, which is fucking stupid, isn't it? Wow, he's GFIing here. I don't know why. Hit to do the GFIs. Yeah, and the rope from Hearthstone. So if if they if they do nothing for four minutes, then the then the next turn's like a fucking one minute turn or whatever. That'd be good. There's loads of things you could do if you know if you could have coding and everything, but it ain't gonna happen, is it? So that's fair enough. But yeah, the the main problem that I have with a, with the four minute turns is they can be six or seven minutes. 
He's fucking stupid. Man. Wow, he doesn't even make it a two plus. He's just off. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> look at dog. <laughs> I'm sure they won't allow that sneaker because they're never going to sell the uh, they're never going to sell the DLC teams, then are they? <laughs> this is completely, completely unprotected. <laughs> Just a GFI to hit him. What the fuck? I'm confused. Okay, this safe moves first, though, eh? <laughs> Thumbs up to judge me. <laughs> so if I GFI, I'm going to be able to GFI pick it up wherever it goes. So, I should probably do the safe moves first of this three dice block first. And then move these two guys. Totally safe. How him? Fucking edge five, cunt. GFI there does something, doesn't it? Or even just GFI into there does something. I just don't want to fail the pickup and then not have the ball. Oh fuck it, I'll just go for it. <laughs> oh, if he break! Glorious. Could just not go for the pickup. Then could go for the geofighter there. Feeling the GFI is horrible. Don't want to have, give him the two plus out. Ah, I could have made the GFI. Right, let's go for this. Ah, well, there you go. I'd have failed the pickup if I'd gone for the pickup. But I could have GFI'd with the, uh, with a warrior and failed the pickup. That would have been alright. But I really didn't want to fail the, I really didn't want to fail the GFI. That would have been horrible, wouldn't it? That would have been really horrible. Uh, block, block, wrestle. I do. NB. Block, block, wrestle, block. Oh god, really? Oh no, Jim. <laughs> un ballon par terre est un ballon dangereux. Yeah, maybe I should have GFI'd there, then it would have been a 3 plus 2 plus without dodge, wouldn't it, for him? The GFI at least made this a 3 plus for him with dodge, which might, might fail, might it? Mm. 
amazing, amazing AV break, to be fair. If I still had the reroll, I'd have definitely done the GFI pickup. But with not having it, I think it was probably wise not to go for it. <laughs> block, block, wrestle. Hello, G6. Big <laughs> One of you two girls. I see what you've done there. Yeah, I've got that feeling too, okay, no, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Oh, <laughs> fucking cast <laughs> the fuck out! <laughs> glorious, absolutely glorious. Right, so he can two D, and then one, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I can't. It's hard to surf him. It's fucking hard to surf this little fucker because of the ball being there. He could go GFI to get the ball. One, two, three, four. He could get the ball. Okay. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That's where I want to go for the ball, for sure. And then I want to foul at the end with a cage corner. Let's get him back towards the ball. Maybe he just goes for the pickup. If he goes for the pickup, then I can run back. I can't. I can't fucking. I can't surf him because the only one who can pick up the ball and not have to GFI is the guy who would be doing the surf. Jinx it, yeah, Wayne Ferrier. Ah, oh, thank you, G6. Pick up and serve for the same land. No, no, that, <laughs> that seems not a good idea. I guess I could have done though, but now I was just going to declare the blitz with one of these guys and then run back. So, yeah. Is he just moved this lad? Yeah, good. That was pretty safe though, wasn't it? That was safe. Get all the lads around. Some strength four lads. And uh, he's down three players. Which is pretty good. Need to do better with his ball picking up though, fuck's sake. Only the one reroll left. <laughs> no, G6, no. <laughs> Just got a minor for the uh, for the highest TV uh, big guy and highest TV team. That's what. That's the kind of point of this is. Trying to big build a big monster chaos team for fun and euros. Hmm. 
Mmm. I really want to try and surf his blitzer. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess nobody knows that, because I guess it's not true. <laughs> right, so block him to there, then he blocks him, then he blocks him, then blitz him, then he surfs. So it is possible to surf him, but it's probably not smart, is it? Is it in Spike Journal 1? Really? Is that a real thing? Please make the fucking pickup. Yeah, I know there's Carla Von Kill, but is that the actual fluff? Is that is that actual fluff? Is that written by Games Workshop? That's <laughs> so fucking dumb. Kale's winning on the wind chip. Used all my fucking rerolls here just to fucking lose the ball and lose the match, for fuck's sake. Gets the scatter. I'm sure he'll get lucky as fuck as well. Jesus Christ. All those people that could have caught the scatter as well. But no, of course they don't. <laughs> Lady Borak. His mother, Lady Borak, the butcher of Erengrad. <laughs> Fucking two plus pickup. Fuck off, man. Oh, this has been some bullshit this half. Fuck's sake, and now he's going to score and I'll have no reroll, so he'll fucking win as well, not even just draw. Fuck off. Fuck, man. What an absolute load of bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit. Come on, fucking fail. Fuck off. Fuck off! That's ridiculous! That's fucking ridiculous! <laughs> Using all my fucking rerolls. Just to get fucked. Oh my god! Oh my Lady Bore at the butcher of her ingrad. Fuck you! Oh, fuck you now. Zara the Slayer. Even bloodthirsters need to be loved. <laughs> Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! Dolphin's dead, oh good. Well I wish I just hadn't re-rolled all my used all my re-rolls there, eh? Because it's fucked me. He's got he's got more chance to win than I have, because he's got re-rolls and I don't. 
<laughs> but Blood Bowl 2016's got the MVP rule, hasn't it, for Bash teams, which is good. It just, uh It just, uh yeah, Zara the Slayer was probably. I, I, I think she got removed because of like the copyright things of being a bit too close to Buffy, isn't it? He's even got a kick. And perfect defense. <laughs> Ah, they're awesome Wolf Mage apps because they're more fun. They're more fun. They're more fucking fun. Isn't that what Blood Bowl should be? Like, the people who play Blood Bowl are so fucking abused that they're like, oh, this is no good. The new rules are fun. No, we can't have that. Let's have the dead player. Let's have let's have a still random but not quite as random because we've got to have we've got to be fucked by the dice. We can't have situations where you get a little bit less fucked by the dice. No. Le saviez-vous? Les scavens jouent entre eux dans de vastes cavernes souterraines. Chaque équipe a l'appui d'un Yeah, no funny. Fucking except this is by the fucking people playing it. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, the dead lonely and MVP, yeah, for fuck's sake. Dead dead players and star players getting the MVP, that's fucking fun apparently. Right, who's gonna score? This guy's gonna score. Here he is, ready to score. He's got to get back some amount. Safe blitz. Don't want to give him the two plus out there. All right. Yeah, it's, of course it's another fucking pickup thing. Jesus fuck. Yeah, why is it why is it fixed the MVP? What's wrong with D3, man? It's just great. It's just more fun. It's more fun. That's better. That's fucking better. Faster development is better. More fun is better. Less bullshit dice is better. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pedro. If I had two rerolls and he had none, then yes. But. Oh, fucking hell. Where goes the line? He's obsessed by Kurpan. Yep, zero for four. Zero for fucking four. After he just gave me the ball in his drive. <laughs> <laughs> and let me surround it with Chaos Warriors. <laughs> I just fucking failed all the pickups and got all the worst fucking scatters. <laughs> and didn't fucking do anything. <laughs> For fuck's sake. 
<laughs> For fuck's fucking sake. What an absolute fucking joke of a match. Uh yeah, is that is that is that yeah, sure you can sneak it. Is it is it is it Skrull Dude's one or is it a different one? But oh, that's great Wolf and Ajax. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that's fucking great, man. That's what you want. You don't want to stick around on everybody fucking being rookies forever. You know, there should be faster progression. That's just good. It's more fun. Yeah, it's uh, scroll dudes. Why don't you like fun? <laughs> Pass it to him. No, hand off to him, then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, then he's two squares away. So that's a hand off to him is pretty good. One, two, three, four, okay. You can blitz him for a safe the safest block. Flip me, guys. From the fucking minnow, glorious minnow. Powd is blodger. Fucking get in. Irrelevant block. Saves us the one on the dodge. And then I want to dodge to stop the hit there. Ho ho ho! What a turn. What a fucking turn, eh? It's the hope that fucking kills you, though, isn't it? It's the fucking hope that kills you. That was a typical fucking... Give us a little ray of hope just to be fucking shat on on turn 16. But at least not going to lose this game now, so that's good. Yeah, the new MVP rule is, of course, more fair. Of course, more fair. Because Wolfram Ajax, here's an absolute easy example, right? In UK BBL, I, uh, I, I played UK BBL um, one season. And in that one season, um, I was undead. And somebody else, don't remember his name, was necromantic. And he got... He got um, his MVP. And he got MVP on... Um, a flesh golem and then his next and gets a Kaz and levels him up second game he gets a MVP on a flesh golem and levels him up next game he gets an MVP on a white and levels him up meanwhile I go I go MVP on a fucking zombie MVP on a fucking zombie MVP on a fucking zombie <laughs> so one of us has got amazing MVPs and the other one has got shit MVPs which is not fair <laughs> Whereas if you've got this, if you have the new MVP rule, then uh, or the MVP 2016 rule, then we would have both got. I would have got MVPs on my mummies, and he would have got MVPs on his flesh golems, and that would have been more fair. There you go. It's not Crimea River, it, oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> you just asked why it's more fair, and I told you why it's more fair. You fucking splooge head. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then who can we get to cover? He's cover, and we're gonna have to GFI to punch, which sounds stupid, but what other option do we have? get further forward so GFI to hit with him I oh, know but then a bolt down isn't a turnover so I'll hit it with him got him ooh got him I mean it's not a knockdown but didn't turn over <laughs> didn't turn over which for me is a gotten Irrelevant block? No, that's not a good thing to do. Put him there. So he can only get a 1D on us. Hey, cheeky cats. <laughs> Hello, VIP Kurgo. Not as much as it hurt the claw ones, Savage Paintings. Not as much as it will hurt the claw ones. <laughs> it's a flawless victory. <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's giving the one dice on him. And then he gets it. I mean, I, I couldn't really have stopped it. I guess I could have done. I could have GFI'd with him and then dodged with a minnow. Maybe that's what I should have done. No, they don't, Savage Painting. No, they don't. No, they don't. Completely false. Completely false. There you go. Yeah, they were never superior, and now they get worse. <laughs> Pact minus 3%, Nurgle minus 2.9%, Chaos minus 1.8%. They're all, all the win rate drops. 45% win rate for Pact, 45% for Nurgle, 47% for Chaos. Meanwhile, 49% for Ox. And 54% for Undead. And 53% for Chores. So there you go. The NAF report. What is that? What is that? Is that like rando fucking league of nerds who don't know how to play Blood Bowl? I mean... Just, just spitballing here, but is this completely fucking random as playing, or is it, or is it their tournaments, which is completely irrelevant? Blitz him, block him. Okay, block him first. All right, there you go. Fail, fail the absolute first action. <laughs> it's not Jimmy's evil twin, but NAF is NAF is completely irrelevant to the 2016 changes, isn't it? 
Like, unless it's from loads of random leagues that... I mean, the, the the changes haven't affected NAF tournaments, but if they're taking it from, like, loads of random leagues, then I just don't trust the veracity of it. So there you go. Um, right, 1-1 one, one draw. I feel like I should have won there. I think feel very hard done by it. Fail all those pickups. But there you go. That's, that's what happens sometimes, isn't it? Um, he was quite likely to catch, and I wasn't. Pickup 75, catches 75. Meanwhile... Catches 50, pickups 28%. Yeah, that was a problem. That was a problem. If the pickups had been better than 28%, we could have won. Um, ah, glorious fault force. Right, so there you go. That's uh, that's a draw. But I mean, it's not the end of the world, is it? And the Minnows made seven cards in four games, which is pretty good. Uh, right. So there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.